Hello everyone. Today we are going to study a very important reaction in organic chemistry called Sandmeier reaction. Now what is Sandmeier reaction? Let us be first try to understand how the diazonium salt is prepared. When a primary aromatic amine is treated with the sodium nitride in the presence of cold aqueous mineral acid, a diazonium salt is formed. Now this is nothing but the precursor for this reaction. Okay. Now once this freshly prepared diazonium salt is further mixed with the cuprous chloride or bromide which results in the replacement of the diazonium group by chloride or bromide this reaction for the synthesis of haloarenes from a diazonium salt is properly known as popularly known as Sandmeier reaction Okay now let us try to understand what exactly happens in this reaction our starting material or the precursor for this reaction is nothing but diazonium salt. Why is it called salt? Because there is, you can see there is a positive charge on nitrogen and negative charge on the halide. Like if you can see that the sodium chloride. In sodium chloride, they, in its dissociated form, there is positive charge on your sodium and the negative charge on the chlorine. Similarly, you can see there is a positive charge on nitrogen here and negative charge on your halide. Now, the mechanism goes something like this. The first step is nothing but the single electron transfer reaction between cuprous chloride and then that of the diazonium salt. Now what is cuprous chloride? That is nothing but our reagent in this reaction. And the first step is nothing but a single electron transfer. Single electron transfer reaction from copper to this nitrogen. Now once this single electron transfer takes place, we will be getting what? We will be getting diazo radical which is shown here. Now once there is a formation of diazo radical, homolytic cleavage takes place. Homolytic cleavage. That is this bond breaks homolytically. That is by free radical mechanism. One electron is transferred to this sp2 carbon of your aromatic system sp2 carbon of your aromatic system and one electron is transferred to what nitrogen which was already having one unpaired electron so that what will we be getting neutral nitrogen gas which will be evolved in this reaction now the product in this step is what aryl radical now, aryl radical, when it comes in contact with the cuprous chloride, what will happen? Please ignore this arrow. Now, consider this bond. Ignore this arrow. Okay. Now, in this bond, there are two electrons. There is one, this electron and this electron. So, what will happen? There is going to be formation of sigma bond between this sp2 carbon of your aromatic system and this halide. It will take one electron from this two electron and we'll be getting what halo arin which is nothing but the final product of this reaction